A new documentary titled Call Me Country is delving into the influence that Beyonce has had on the genre of country music. Greetings everyone. Today we will be delving into the subject matter of the highly anticipated documentary Call Me Country, which aims to explore the profound influence Beyonce has had on the world of country music. Specifically, the documentary will shine a spotlight on her groundbreaking album Cowboy Carter, and how it has contributed to the ever-evolving landscape of diversity within the genre. Notably, the film will include insightful interviews with prominent industry figures such as brothers Osborne and Rissy Palmer. Recently, Azealia Banks voiced her criticism towards Beyonce's exploration of country music, accusing her of engaging in what she referred to as white woman cosplay and raising doubts about her authenticity in this genre. With that said, let us now embark on our engaging discussion. The upcoming documentary, titled Call Me Country, is currently in the filming stages and focuses on the significant influence Beyonce has had on the genre of country music. According to The Tennessean, CNN Flash Docs is responsible for producing the documentary, which is slated to be released later this month. Warner Brothers Discovery, the parent company of the network, stated in a press release that Beyonce's long-awaited album Cowboy Carter, which was released on March 29th, coincided with a significant moment in the ongoing culture wars in America, particularly within the realm of country music. While certain individuals within the industry embrace a greater inclusion of diverse artists, others maintain a more limited perspective that predominantly revolves around straight white men. The documentary will feature interviews with John and TJ Osborne of Brothers Osborne, Rissy Palmer, Aaron Vance and Denisha. In recent news, Beyonce garnered attention when Azealia Banks, a well-known critic of the singer, strongly criticised British pop star Lily Allen for what she deemed as unprovoked racism towards the former Destiny's child frontwoman. On April 6th, Banks took to her Instagram stories and shared a story that showcased Allen's criticism of Cowboy Carter a sentiment that Banks herself has expressed, advising her to refrain from involvement. She started the conversation by reminding Alan of a phone call that took place several years ago where she was clearly under the influence and emotionally distraught, pleading for forgiveness after making racist remarks. This incident referred to the long-standing feud between them that occurred 11 years ago, which ended with Banks insulting Alan's then husband, Sam Cooper, by comparing him to a thumb as reported by The Guardian. During her ongoing statement, she proceeded to say, to put it bluntly, my assumption was that being a white girl and you being a black girl, I could treat you poorly without consequence. Following that, Banks proceeded to provide a detailed account of the conversation between the two individuals, which she referred to as a blow-by-blow -blow description. Paradoxically, Azealia Banks has often voiced her criticism towards Beyonce, accusing the former Destiny's child member of partaking in what she refers to as white woman cosplay. On March 19th, the rapper took to her Instagram story to unleash a blistering critique, drawing parallels between the Texas Hold'em artist and various well-known figures in popular culture. She commenced by stating, My dear, I am an ardent admirer of white yonce Donatella Bianca Bardo Down but I must admit my disappointment in witnessing your transition from Baobab Trees and Black Parade to this overtly attention-seeking content. Azealia insinuated that Beyonce showed exceptional support to the Dixie Chicks, attributing it to their race, while suggesting that she would never receive the same treatment. At the Country Music Awards, it is disappointing to witness the inclusion of white women who have been ostracized, such as the Dixie Chicks. In contrast, they would never reciprocate this gesture towards you. It is a recurring pattern to see you sharing your platform with white women who harbour envy towards you, yet have a lengthy track record of undermining the success of black individuals. By doing so, you unintentionally perpetuate the misguided belief that country music is an art form rooted in the aftermath of the Civil War. Azealia Banks, questioning Beyonce's decision to venture into an art form that made her feel unwelcome, proceeded to roast 16 carriages by asserting that it lacked coherence. The main focus, without any unnecessary racial implications, should be on achieving a number one hit with an exceptional country song. 
This sentiment was expressed by the individual, who also pointed out that artists like Kelsey Ballerini and Carrie Underwood have produced superior songs compared to the current Beyonce-inspired tracks that are less appealing. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.